Hi everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to take a look at encrypting a file and encrypting a folder. And the way we're going to do this is using the zip command within Mac OS. Let's go ahead and open up terminal. Now, in order for this to work, you have to give terminal uh, permissions. This is a one-time thing that you have to do. Uh, if you've done it before, you don't have to do it again. But essentially what you're going to do is open up system preferences, go into security and privacy, and from there, scroll down until you see full disk access. Click on the little lock, uh, type in your password, and click on the little plus here. And what we're going to do is open up our applications folder. Let's scroll down to utilities. And then you're going to find terminal here. Click on terminal and click open. All right. And then it's going to say, hey, we have to quit terminal. If you already had it running, you can go ahead and click quit now. Now, if you don't want terminal having full disk access later on, once you're done zipping the file and uh, encrypting it, you can just remove it from the list here. All right. So let's close that and let's relaunch terminal. All right. So uh, before we go any further, uh, let's just take a look at the command uh, that we're going to be using, which is the zip command and what options are available. So just type zip and hit return and then you'll get a list of available options. So the command we're going to be using is E for encrypt. And then once we're looking at uh, encrypting the folder, we have to use the R command so that it encrypts everything inside of the folder. So recurse into directories. All right, let's go ahead and type clear to remove that. All right, and what we're gonna do now is change into the directory where the files are located. So here I have the uh, folder and file on my desktop that I, we're gonna practice on. Uh, what I'm gonna do is type uh, CD for change directory. And I'm gonna do the little tilde sign there and type forward slash desktop. All right, and now we're on our desktop. We can verify that the uh, change completed successfully by typing ls to list the files. And I can tell that I'm, my, I'm on my desktop because here I have the uh, private folder and I have my important txt document. Okay, uh, the other way to do this is instead of having to type out your directory, what you can actually do is just, uh, let me clear that out. What you can do is type cd, hit the space bar, open up a finder window, and then you can just drag your desktop folder in here and hit return and it'll do the same thing. So either way, uh, if you don't know the directory, how to type out the directory properly, a good way of doing it is just uh, dragging it in. All right. So now that we got all that technical stuff out of the way and we're on our desktop, uh, what we're going to do is uh, type the zip command. And the uh, first thing I want to do right now is just the file itself. So we're going to do dash E. Okay, space, and then the name of the file, which is important dot zip. Okay, now the reason I'm typing zip is because uh, first we're going to type what we want the uh, zip file to be named. Okay, we're going to hit another space, and then we're going to tell the uh, command where is the f uh, what is the name of the file that we want to zip, which is important dot txt okay and we know that's the extension if you don't have extensions for your files what you can do is right click and then uh, click get info and you'll be able to see the uh, extension type here name and extension okay let's close that out all right now that we have that uh, typed out we ha we have the zip command we have the encrypt command we have uh, the name that we want the zip to be once it's uh, compressed and then the name of the actual file in its directory. Let's go ahead and hit return. And now it's going to ask us for a password. Hey, what do you want to encrypt this with? What, what password do you want to use? I highly recommend using uh, eight characters or more with a combination of letters numbers and special characters. Uh, I mean, if this is something that, you know, you're just trying to keep away from people, at home or something, no big deal. You can make the password short and not really that important. But if you want to have at least some uh, security with it, use a long uh, password. Of course, this isn't uh, like a uh, 256 bit encryption or anything. So if somebody 
with enough knowledge wanted to brute force this, they could still get in. But it's uh, secure enough, just use a uh, long uh, password with uh, different characters. For my purpose is here, I'm just gonna make it short. And then it's gonna ask you to verify. If, you, if you've never been in terminal before, if you type and you don't see anything coming up, that's okay. Uh, that's a normal thing. It, it doesn't show you any characters when you're typing a password for security. Okay, and then hit return. All right, and it's done. Let's give it a second here to show up. And there it is. So that's my important uh, .zip file here. I can uh, double click on it. And then you'll see immediately you get the password prompt. So if you type in something that's wrong, it's gonna say wrong password, you can't do it. And then if you type in the correct password, it'll unzip it and there you go. You can see my file there. It has my important text information and that works successfully. All right, so I can get rid of this stuff now. We won't be needing that anymore. Okay, so let's do the same thing now, but for a folder. All right, so what I'm gonna do is type clear just to uh, clear everything out. And we're gonna type zip space dash E R. Okay, so this time we're doing a folder. And once again, make sure that you're uh, still in the uh, directory uh, where the folder exists. What we're gonna do is type private dot zip. Okay, and now Note that the name doesn't have to be the exact same thing as the file. You can name it something entirely different. All right, and now what we're gonna type is pr private. And let's hit return. Type a password like before. Okay, and then you can see all the files that it is uh, encrypting here. Once it's done encrypting them, uh, and well, technically deflating them, it'll encrypt them, and then you'll get another uh, folder here. So let's go ahead and check that out, make sure it worked. Type a random password. Okay, it's rejected. Now that we typed our password, it unzips successfully, and then I can see my secret files in there. Uh, so this uh, works uh, pretty well. The only thing to be aware of, obviously, is once they're encrypt, uh, once you decrypt it, you're going to have to encrypt it again using the same method. Now, uh, the nice thing is that if you're using terminal to do this, you can just use the up arrow key, and it'll bring back your past commands, so you can do it pretty quickly, so you don't have to, you know, retype everything if you're making changes to this uh, file or folder frequently. So. That sums it up for today's video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any other suggestions of things you would like to see done on this channel, uh, please let us know. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.